Let's start with you, who you sure. are. Um, I'm Dr. Maryam Bakhtiari, and I'm a, a dentist with my practice limited to orthodontics, TMJ, and sleep apnea. Mm, and we are here in your office in Manhattan Beach. Yes. How about no. you, who you are? My name's Diane Hansen, and I'm a cranial psychotherapist. I've known Sylvia for many years. Yeah, and I'm Sylvia Campbell. I'm a forest yoga teacher and movement therapist. And I'm really, really interested in exploring in the body what we can do to work with the breath to regulate the nervous system and to improve movement functions in the body and our overall life functions. And I'm also specialized in pelvic floor healing. So I'm also a hands-on therapist for pelvic floor and just really, really excited about something that we want to share with you guys, our viewers. Uh, Dr. Beriam. We have this little gadget. Yeah, we, we all have. You <laughs> have one that in your hand. <laughs> Please tell us about this little gadget that you invented. What yes. it's called and what it is for. Yes. So I created Bella Lip Appliance um, about in 2011. I treat patients with craniofunctional misalignment uh, and um, di uh, disorders. So I've always had my hands on making orthopedic retainers for patients to align their jaw, to uh, facilitate, facilitate their function. And I knew that when I do these beautiful broad smiles, their faces still don't have um, full muscle tone. Mm. And I wondered why is it that whatever I do, the lips are still not very plumped up and the facial muscle is not very balanced. And I knew I have to come up with an orthopedic retainer or orthopedic appliance mm -hmm. that could fill that gap. Um, and I read um, many books. One of the books with uh, Al Fonder, I don't know if you've ever looked at a dental physician, mm -hmm. talks about our diet and all of our bite issues. So I thought, okay, we're juicing our diet. We're not eating wholesome, raw food as we were intended. So, and we're always in a rush. So maybe mm -hmm. that's why we're not using our facial muscles as much. Mm -hmm. I um, came up with Bella Lip Appliance and it's just gone to the market and it's intent to be um, an, uh, an appliance that's durable. Uh, we didn't certify it as a medical device, but it's literally a medical device that's durable. <gasps> Comes in that's a beautiful fine. package. Yes, mm -hmm. and it's intended to use your lip as an engagement to allow, uh, allow your facial muscles to be able to work out. So this is like your, uh, basically it's an appliance that goes around your mouth and you just exercise. And it matches your lipstick color too. I do notice. <laughs> <laughs> that lipstick, she got a good that lipstick is for your camera. <laughs> But it's uh, the resistance built in this orthotic. It's very unique where you can use this for two to three years and it still doesn't lose its resistance. Mm -hmm. So as you become an expert in using the BLA, you can just change the repetition and still get the workout for your lips and your face. Mm -hmm. And I realized when I, when the, the third exercise that I made was the vertical exercise with your lower jaw forward, I realized patients has written to me that their ear pain is gone and their TMJ mm. is better. We really? didn't make this intended for TMJ. In fact, in our um, disclaimer, we said that if you have TMJ, do not use it. Mm. But a lot of patients' feedback has been to me that when they do this exercise, I'm gonna show you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The jaw moves forward as you close your mouth. When the jaw moves forward, it t it's intended for your neck muscles to get tightened, but it also allows the TM joint to release and strengthen the muscles in the behind the TMJ, mm -hmm. the lateral ter pterygoids and so forth. Yeah, so in your opinion, why do we need to exercise those muscles? Why is it important? Well, we just have, our body is all the fascia as a whole. We cannot, if, if our facial muscle is not toned, then our neck muscle is not toned, then our back. So I feel like everything is connected. Mm -hmm. This was intended mainly for aesthetics originally. Mm -hmm. I intended to use this for aesthetic so that we can eliminate somebody like my 17 year old to get lip injections. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. So that if we can 
plump up our face, we may not need as much fillers. So it was my holistic approach for young generations so, and people like my age so that we can fight the aging process. But now that I'm using it and I've hear, I'm hearing the feedback, it's very important to exercise and release all your muscles in your body. Yes. <laughs> Diane, yes. I, see that, I, I, I see Diane once a week and that's what she does. She tries to get my craniosacral rhythm going mm -hmm. by balancing the way my tones are my back and muscles and my you know lower back upper back mm -hmm. this is the a same cranial thing. hold mm -hmm. yes from and sacrum to the to the yes the to oxy, yes mm -hmm. so um that was how it started it started as a cosmetic little mm -hmm. thing that would a, an appliance that would be durable for anybody to use mm -hmm. now i hear the feedback i was I was to the moon when I heard Diane said that you have said that it helps the pelvic floor because it wasn't mm -hmm. intended for that. But then mm -hmm. now you go ahead and tell me what your experience mm -hmm. was on that. <laughs> yeah, I will. But first, I want to hear you, Diane. How did you start experiment with this? Well, we were in a yoga class and mm -hmm. you suggested to move your pelvic floor muscles. And because mm -hmm. I, I do that a lot with my students, right? But this the, is the first are, time I've yeah. been in the class. She 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 mixes up her class all the time, so every day is different. So this time I got the <laughs> pelvic floor muscles, and I'm trying my hardest to squeeze this way, squeeze that way, and it just wasn't. I couldn't feel anything. I've done Kegel, right? I know how to squeeze that muscle mm -hmm. and a couple other ones down there, but not <laughs> not the ones that go sideways and up and down. Mm -hmm. So, I was using my device, and miraculously, the pelvis floor follows the jaw muscle. Mm -hmm. It's almost instantaneous now. When I mm -hmm. put the device in, my pelvic floor starts doing its exercises. So, wow. everything is connected. Everything, is, everything connected. is connected. And the pelvic floor muscles are like sets of muscles you are referring to that they are under exercise mm -hmm. or maybe over exercise. Mm -hmm. Because if you think about TMJ and those people who grind their teeth, they create chronic tension in the jaw and mm -hmm. these muscles mm -hmm. right here. And uh, same could happen with an overtoned pelvic floor. So with, same with the pelvic floor. Some people have not enough tones, some people have too much. And what I'm learning is that these two areas communicate. They are like mirrors and they have e either a good flow of communication or miscommunication. Got it. Yeah. And uh, I just want to share how I came across your device, <laughs> the BLA. <laughs> so, after one of the classes, yoga classes, Diane was using a beautiful lush jungle back backyard for a background to create a video with this. And I, I come out and she was about to do a cranial session on me. She, she's been doing cranial on me once a week. And I was like looking at it, I'm like, oh, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> And my inner nerd, because I've been studying all these connections, just lit up. You know, the nerd detectors yeah. are like, beep, beep, beep. <laughs> so I was watching her and listening to her talking about these exercises. And I said, listen, I kind of want to experiment with this. So she let me borrow her BLA. And we actually used it in a cranial session. And I'm, I'm very sensitive energetically. Mm -hmm. So as she was holding my my sacrum sacrum thank you <laughs> uh, i was using the device and really starting to feel the connections of these bones and muscles into the pelvic floor so the whole channel started to open up and uh, and a uh, whole unwinding started to happen uh, an energetic unwinding wow between the jaw and, uh, and the pelvis. So if you think about it, you probably have heard about pregnant ladies mm -hmm. that they have to make this uh, yeah, 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 yeah. deep moaning sound is because your crotch is connected here. Yeah. It's, it's known in the midwifery world. And uh, in one of our sessions with Diane, I actually had a vision. I was seeing that the internal parts of, of my the vaginal canal is the same as my throat mm -hmm. 
and uh, my ovaries are the mirror or mirrored by the um, yeah, ex yes those two so it was a beautiful realization for me to make that connection and I'm, I'm really really into digging deeper into all of this mm -hmm. so I, I'm super excited to share this good, with you good. that I've been studying and I know Diane you too about trauma and uh, and what happens to the body in your nervous system and how the nervous system learns to regulate and uh, this is another area that I love to dig in deeper mm -hmm. with my yoga students as well because I, I had to learn how to regulate my nervous system it was so mixed up and confused mm -hmm. she didn't yes. know how to regulate mm -hmm. and just for our viewers and to touch up on it for example I'm gonna give you all an example I was super excited about this meeting because I, I wanted to share with you all these discoveries but I did I totally forgot to look at where your office was located and what time of the day I was driving here so I got into this frenzy and like freak out having to drive through traffic so what happened to me in that moment that my nervous system switched into sympathetic activation mm -hmm. that's mm -hmm. that yes. flight or fight mm -hmm. oh my god stress 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 and uh, once I was here, I was switching back into parasympathetic because this work just gets me all warm and fuzzy. <laughs> good, you good. know, teaching the regulation is, is, is getting me warm and fuzzy mm -hmm. and my parasympathetics activate. Mm -hmm. And here comes the vagal nerve. And this, mm -hmm. all this connection here, the vagus nerve is this uh, migrating or vagabond mm -hmm. nerve and it's been getting a lot of fame lately and a lot of new discoveries in, mm -hmm. the, in the medical realms mm -hmm. and the vagus nerve is a is a parasympathetic nerve a cranial nerve Tell that yeah that's cranial nerve yes mm -hmm. and i want you to also talk about it if you have any insight of the cranial nerve and how how the vagus nerve could be tracked and connected down to the pelvis because right now Science connects it down to your digestive tract, mm -hmm. connects it to your spleen, heart, heart, lungs, and all the organs. Yeah, so breath regulation. Mm -hmm. So we can prove that this little gadget has way more than cosmetics. Yes, <laughs> I, I, I'm learning more and more about it. Yes. Diane, do you want to say anything about the vagus nerve? That exciting. Just little... all that that you just said. It, it, that uh, regulates the central nervous system. The mm -hmm. one uh, release that I do in the cranial base, it spreads occipital condyles and releases the vagus nerve to let it flow freely and balance that central nervous system. Right. Mm -hmm. And when one has a heart attack, the first thing is the jaw pain. It's, oh. That's how the vagus nerve is related to the jaw. Mm -hmm. Interesting. So it's a very, very important nerve mm -hmm. to be released. Mm -hmm. Well, when I went in our field in my office because I treat a lot of patients with TMJ and we get every patient that comes to my room that has TMJ their sympathetic out input is so high Ooh, they're, high on stress. they're high stress high cortisol sympathetic so when we put them with an orthopedic retainer in a place that at least the brain doesn't feel the impingement of the fifth cranial nerve mm. and the blood supply to the brain it promotes more of their parasymp them to be more in touch with their parasympathetic nervous system and they're more calmer the next day when they come they're dressed exactly. differently they're less depressed so th what you're saying the body is a lot more than you know just what we see there's a lot more connection that we're learning still mm -hmm. and uh, and everything we do with the craniotherapy with yoga with the movement therapy with the breath we all affect Fact, the nervous system yes, absolutely. and learning to regulate your muscles and just the fact that you bring your attention to, to these muscles, exactly. muscles and you access the openings as you said some of your patients uh, experience less pain and, yes. and, and ear better pain, sleep better sleep better sleep of yeah. course that is all uh, connected to the parasympathetic yeah. nervous system yeah, yeah. Yeah? yeah, isn't that exciting? It's very exciting. <laughs> at, at the same time, it's tightening the muscles that are loose 
in your airway, mm -hmm. which makes it a little bit better to breathe. But then I've had patients telling me that when they do it before sleep, they can sleep better. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. we haven't done much research in depth. So I'm glad that Diane had, had this universe has brought this to your hand because right. we're learning more. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There's more mm -hmm. about it. Yeah. Yeah. And I also want to say that it, I'm also realizing, exercising with this, with Diane's help during the cranial session, that it, it definitely matters how you control the muscles. Just like in yoga practice, there's a huge difference when you activate your intrinsic core muscles and then you bring your extrinsics into action yes. from an activated mm -hmm. core. The same or similar is true with this. Diane, I don't know if you remember, but I did experiment and I told you about how and how to connect with the breath of the actual movement of the mm -hmm. jaw when I was using the BLA mm -hmm. and how when I tuned in and really zeroed in and create sort of uh, almost like a resistance in my mm -hmm. muscles then it intensified the effect mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah so it teaches you to be smart if you know how to connect to the the smartness and the intelligence of, of your body. body. Absolutely, mm -hmm. I agree. I do want to read uh, something, one more really interesting stuff that we have not even touched on. There is okay. one more little gift okay. and treasure about this. And uh, by the way, this is the the vagus nerve mm -hmm. from the matter, mm -hmm. just to yeah. show the connection. Mm -hmm. So it's going down. Yeah. from the stem the brain stem mm -hmm. all the way down and there's even more further down connection, connection into mm -hmm. the pelvis yeah. and your sex organs especially for women female exactly. anatomy mm -hmm. so just a quick little view here super hard to see you know when i look at this picture it reminds me of the metro system in new york <laughs> oh yeah 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 <laughs> exactly. right so this is what blew my mind, check it out. This is from the book, uh, In an Unspoken Voice, How the Body Releases Trauma and Restores Goodness from Dr. Peter Levine. I really recommend this work, you guys. Okay. Work your trauma out. You don't need to live with your trauma. It is the branch of the parasympathetic nervous system, talking mm -hmm. about the vagus nervous system, that regulates the so-called mammalian or smart vagus nerve which is neuroanatomically linked to the cranial nerves that mediate facial expression mm -hmm. and vocalization. Mm. This most recently acquired system animates the unconsciously me mediated muscles in throat, mm -hmm. face, middle ear, heart, lungs, which together communicate our emotions both to others and to ourselves. I'm getting, getting goosebumps because this mm -hmm. is so beautiful. This most refined system orchestrates relationship, attachment, and bonding, and also mediates emotional intelligence. Mm. So this su summarizes the, the mammalian nervous subsystems, this picture that we just looked at. And uh, it is, yeah, as it said, it's part of the mammalian brain. We are animals, mammals, you know, yes. and we are bonding. So if, if your face is frozen, you know, without expression, that affects everything. That Absolutely. affects your social interactions and your well-being. So you can, again, one more point to BLA. <laughs> ding, ding, ding. Uh, because it also helps with the well-being of social feedback. Yeah, what do you wonderful. think about that? Oh my God, I'm thrilled. I told my husband, he's a physician, about uh, what Diane told me when you told um, her is she, he was thrilled mm -hmm. <laughs> because every time I use this mm -hmm. um, well I didn't see that relationship at that moment that you're telling me but whenever I use this at night honestly it just helps our relationship mm. that night it's a better night bonding a bonding connecting. night and I never ever thought I thought that the relationship is I'm using something sexy he's watching me but it was actually me mm. feeling Whatever I'm connected, connected all the way through yes. your body yes. down yes. to your core. Now that you're telling me, I have to buy this book <laughs> yes. and mm -hmm. learn about it because we do treat a lot of patients with emotional mm -hmm. um, holding their emotions mm -hmm. and frozen. And I I always think that I know a little bit because I've taken a little bit of everything. But then mm -hmm. now this is going to help me even become better um, 
clinician here. Yeah, I'm so happy. We actually did the voo sound today in her. Yes, in it her. really was effective. Yes. What What did you learn about that? Let me see how you explain that. Okay. For me, for me, I was. She was doing my um, neck. She was on my neck, and I was breathing in and out. But I have a, a, an, one patient of mine that I can't figure out her problem was in my head. Mm -hmm. So I couldn't take her out of my head and start being focused in me. Mm -hmm. When she told me do the woo, I thought that she's trying to distract me. Mm -hmm. And I start doing the woo. And then I felt everything went down mm -hmm. and released. Wow. From here. And then I said, whoa, what was that? And then I tried it again. And it kind of put me in a relaxed state where she was able to release my neck even better. Did you mm -hmm. feel that? Yeah, absolutely. And then I couldn't even say the woo anymore. I was like, <laughs> I was so now out of what I was in. So mm -hmm. it took me from my, my mind became clear. Mm -hmm. And I was now focused in me and within me. I was feeling everything, air, every air going through my body. Mm -hmm. It was very fascinating. But I didn't know what was the purpose. I thought she's trying to distract me. Mm -hmm. And then I felt this thing and I, because <laughs> she said, I, have one thing that I'm going to have you tell you to do and I thought okay she's just trying to help me but what was your experience when you were watching her what did you experience as a therapist oh she dropped in she dropped in mm -hmm. first it was a not really a, a not really the foghorn sound that Peter Levine tells you to do it's the mm -hmm. really a deep yeah and then we did it, and then I did it with her, and then mm -hmm. she did it on, and you mm -hmm. could just see her drop in, central mm -hmm. nervous. Mm -hmm. yeah. So just to explain that a little bit more, mm -hmm. what so this Wu sound is mentioned in Peter Levine's book for, for treating trauma, mm -hmm. and uh, not just trauma, but okay, life could be just in itself trauma, right? <laughs> <laughs> like driving here. Yeah. <laughs> But basically, uh, when you, for example, if you are in a lot of stress or um, anxiety, yeah, a lot of people are stuck in anxiety, especially with unprocessed trauma. If you are stuck in trauma cycles and your body doesn't know how to resolve the cycle, it's a loop that a keeps loop. a loop. The same yeah, story. The same going. story. Your body doesn't know how to reset that nervous system regulation loop, which good news that you can totally learn because mm -hmm. I have, I'm learning too. So my body can regulate now. Uh, and so it creates those um, feelings like butterflies in your mm -hmm. stomach. That's what I felt this morning. Yeah, so you're stressed out, your stress is stashed here. And if you remember the whole cranial nerves, the, the whole, Thing is connected into your stomach and again we haven't even touched upon your gut instincts and yeah, how your yeah. digestion is connected with your brain <laughs> yes so brain and, and stomach and digestion is all connected as well so when you do that boo sound you're actually clearing the fog from this yes, area yeah, I felt that and your parasympathetic nervous system kicks, kicks in. in yeah yeah that's amazing that's a new thing that I'm gonna add in the room with patients yeah it's yeah. amazing. It's really good. Truly yeah, go holistic. Your, go here and just mm -hmm. boo it out. It out. Yes, yes. Yeah. It's wonderful. This is amazing. This is amazing. So now I can't wait to share this with more, mm -hmm. your video with more people that do yoga mm -hmm. to know for people that are pregnant. Mm -hmm. Yes. I'm the benefit of this for pregnant people, uh, pregnant women that are in the last stages. Mm -hmm to allow the mm -hmm. cervix to start relaxing so that they can have a mm -hmm. better chance of natural birth. I wonder mm -hmm. if that's going to be related I'm to that. I'm using it with a, one of my pregnant clients right mm -hmm. now, and she's having amazing results. Yes. Yes, tightening and loosening. Yeah. And yeah. Yeah. That's so oh, cool. Okay. And remember when you worked on me one time and I was using this, you said my jaw opened so big. Yes, like, it was this way, and it just opened up. opening up. Everything just opened. <laughs> so it's a very good resistant exercise mm -hmm. that we don't have. Mm -hmm. We don't yeah. have anything in our this area to cause resistance. And at night, when we clench and we're in sympathetic mode, we're actually tightening things. We're mm -hmm. not releasing things. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So this will release the masseters, your even all the way down to lateral pterygoids mm -hmm. is going to be released with that forward movement. But again, this was intended for a different use. Now we just have to see where it takes us. 
Exactly. And you get cute looking lips too and yes, jawline. And... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs>